55 degrees. That's right, everyone. It's 55 degrees on Memorial Day weekend. But that is not stopping me from heading over to the flea market and seeing if we can find some hidden treasures. So let's get parked and take a look and see what we can find. So once again, barely any people set up at the flea market. Uh, pay attention to this because the next video that I do showing the flea market, you'll see a lot more people set up there. All right, now I love Flintstone stuff. So when I saw this vintage 1970s Barney Rubble Bank, I was so hoping it was priced right so I could get it. You could see the slot there in the back. Now, interestingly, it doesn't have a stopper on the bottom. So it's really going to be decorative unless you wanted to put a hole on the bottom and uh, try to get the coins out that way. But there's something about this piece that is uh, very interesting to me. So if you look at the comps here, you could see that there are feet, but there's no base. Now you can see that's about $70 plus $12 shipping. A best offer was accepted, but look at this. Look at the base there with the green. I mean, that is just amazing. That may have been put on after the fact, I don't know. I also love the vintage spray job that was done. The price tag on the bottom said $24, but it's why you have to ask. He only wanted $15. I have it listed in my store for $125. So we'll see what happens. You know, I have some flexibility on it, but I'm very happy with the purchase. A few years ago at an estate sale, I picked up one of these new in box. The lady at the flea market had no idea what it was. As you could see here, his name is Magogo and he could sell for as high as around $50 if he works. He's clap activated and will sing the Macarena song and move around. This one did sing to the clapping but didn't move. So I picked them up for $2 and sold them for $20.50. And then let me tell you about this cool Star Wars item I found in the corner. So this is a great piece to pick up. This is actually a promo piece that Procter & Gamble put out in 1978. You could see the date down here. And this is actually mounted onto a styrofoam backing board. So to find one of these posters in the original sealed condition is extremely hard to do and having you know someone as prominent as Darth Vader on there especially with my channel now uh, and uh, we got Obi-Wan and we got the stormtroopers here so it is awesome you know we got all the you know the fighter vehicles up top great to get this for actually just ten dollars she took uh, two bucks off the price so we made it even ten and uh, I'm excited about this one so as you can see here, I have this one listed for $60. All right, well, there's really not much going on this weekend since it is Memorial Day weekend, but there is an estate sale right now in its second day. Uh, so we're going to head over there. This is the dealer I've uh, taken you to before who runs a 50% off sale on the second day when items are like $25 or below and then everything above that is negotiable. So I've wound up getting very good deals there before. So I know there's at least books there. There's supposed to be some DVDs and things. So let's check it out, see if there's anything left. Okay, so here we are. Uh, this is one of these HOAs. So a lot of the houses look the same over here, but you could see this is where the estate sale is. So we'll head inside and see what we can find. All right, so this is a little tip for when you're walking into the estate sale. A lot of people just go straight ahead or turn to the right and head into the kitchen, but uh, definitely don't pass by the closets because that's where a lot of hidden treasures can hide. I always look for camouflage pants, They're very popular with hunters and people in the military. Uh, so this is a great deal. The size was uh, great. They were an extra large, as you'll see right there. And uh, they were in great condition, as you'll see from the prices here on the wall. Remember, everything's half off. So just a buck fifty for the pants. So I'll put them in the box and look back in the closet because I saw another camouflage item, which leads to another tip, especially you know, when you're buying clothes, make sure you're looking them over thoroughly because if there's a hole in it or a stain you didn't see that you can't get out or a rip, that really could devalue the item. As it is, you know, this jacket maybe you could get 20 25 bucks out of it uh but with this rip that you're gonna see here 
uh, on the uh, sleeve, uh, you know, it's just not worth uh, picking it up. That would be a difficult thing to, to fix and just not worth it for the price that the item is. So uh, I set it back. So heading through the kitchen brings us to the garage area. Don't forget to turn those corners. Make sure you're not missing anything. Unfortunately, uh, here we're just a bunch of old chemicals. No vintage spray cans. That's a throwback mention to my first ever video. If you never saw it, I'll link to it up top. Uh, over here, there were a bunch of stamp books and stamp-related items, and I immediately jumped all over this Sylvester and Tweety item that was put out in 1998 through Warner Brothers and the U.S. Postal Service. Service. There's no black one available now except for mine, which you see there. So I priced it for $39.99. We'll see what happens. In terms of the stamp books, remember this is the second day. So a lot of stamp collectors have already been through here and picked through stuff. But uh, this did jump out to me. I do look for old stamps that are colorful, bright, and ones that are available in lots because that makes it easier for me to list those and sell them. So this little booklet here had a bunch of different uh, old colorful stamps in there. Uh, many of them are identical. Don't worry about the cancel marks on them. Uh, they'll still sell to an interested collector. You could group them together by country, by world leader, or by any uh, particular theme that you could think of that someone might be interested in. Could be an entertainer, um, could be a city, uh, could be a type of animal, as I'll show you in a moment or in a few moments. So, you know, it really just depends. But uh, don't shy away from those old stamps, even if you don't know uh, much about it. Uh, it's an interesting area to break into. Now, this is something I passed up on, which is this booklet that was mostly filled with uh, envelopes that had first date of issuance stamps on them or some type of stamp on it. I already have many of those from the uh, giant stamp collection that I purchased. If you didn't see the video on that, I'll link to that up top as well. Uh, but I did uh, pick up this booklet because it had uh, exactly what I was talking about in that prior booklet. A lot of old stamps, uh, many of them are colorful, that you could group together by a particular theme. This country was mostly India. Uh, so if anyone uh, happens to be interested in these or knows anyone who is, uh, let me know and I'll list those for you. Uh, now this one's already listed. I thought this was really cool. I was mentioning about animals earlier. You could see this has a certificate of authenticity. Uh, it is an album that was put out by the uh, Audubon Society and it has sheets related to 15 different types of birds so it contains a lot of factual information about them and then it has the complete sheets nothing is missing these come up to market here and there I have it for the lowest price available right now $22.99 and then I picked up this Discover album for postage stamps. I have done very well selling these. A lot of people have told me that they're not worth much. And, you know, they're not worth a ton, but they always sell. Uh, don't worry if they're you know, partly complete, you know, or partly incomplete, however you want to phrase it, that's okay. They will still sell. Uh, people are interested in the stamps that are in there. It's kind of like a little treasure hunt for them. And then some people like to try to finish the booklets up. So there you could see mine for sale right there. And then I also picked up this box that was filled with stamps for only $2.50, the half off price. Uh, there were just so many old colorful stamps in here for me to dig through. And, uh, you know, we'll see what kind of themes I could uh, come up with for certain there are some uh, by country but um you know, uh, there were just uh, there were just too many in there for two dollars and fifty cents for me to pass up. So uh, happy overall with all my stamp purchases. Uh, picked this one up, put it in the box, and then went upstairs. So I love digging through things. That's what treasure hunting is all about, whether it's in boxes or dresser drawers like this. I feel like the dresser drawers are often overlooked. I love going through them, taking out the clothes, especially the t-shirts, undoing them. You never know what you might find. Like this cool Sugarland double-sided concert shirt. It has all the tour cities on the back. It's a size extra large. It's in great shape. So I listed it for $29.99 in my eBay store. 
Now, when I walk into a room and see a box just sitting there like that, my treasure hunting senses start tingling and I have got to go and flip open that lid and see what kind of treasures may have been left inside. Now, this old book was too dirty and damaged to do anything with, so I just put it to the side. But this old atlas intrigued me because I've done very well in the past selling vintage atlases. Now, this particular one was made by Hammonds, a brand that sells well. This one dates back to 1951, but I have not seen this particular atlas listed recently on eBay. I'll show you what I listed mine for in just a few moments. Now, as you're flipping through old atlases, what you want to look for is that all the pages are still there. And importantly, that the pages are still bright and colorful, that there's no significant stains and no significant rips. So these look great. If you look at the back cover, you'll see mention of a separable map. It also says it on the front cover. And there is the separable map. That's great because that helps add value. So you could see I listed mine for $49.99. It has one watcher, and you definitely want to take a picture of that map and include it in your listing, as you can see there. No! All right, so while the rest of those books weren't that great, across my line of sight, underneath the computer chair, I did see this Led Zeppelin book inside the slip cover. Now, if you didn't see my video on the value of books inside of slip covers and slip cases, click the link up top because it will tell you all about it. Now, this one has a good track record of selling on eBay, so I picked it up along with another Led Zeppelin book, this one here, Heaven and Hell, that doesn't have a great track record of selling on eBay, but combining them together helps add value, so I listed them for $34.99. Now, a lot of people miss this area because when you walk into that main room, it's to the right. So you got to turn the corner. And if you do, a lot of people were intimidated to walk in there because this state sale dealer was sitting there staring at everybody. Now, I didn't care. I walked right in there, turned to the right and grabbed this complete series of fringe and sold it already for $50.00. And when you see what I got everything for, you'll see why I was so happy with that sale. Now, always look for complete series on DVD, such as Saving Grace. It's only three DVDs, but it sells regularly for around $90 to $100. So I have mine listed for $89.99 with one watcher. Now, I also picked up a bunch of Terminator DVDs. Everything I left behind, I left behind because they weren't complete series. But... I did get the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Uh, that's a Terminator-related TV show, seasons one and two. And then for movies, I look for consecutive sequels. So uh, I'll show you the listings that I've got. Look at all those DVDs right there. I already sold the Sarah Connor Chronicles for $24. And then I have the Terminator movies listed right now uh, for $19.99. Now, this again goes to show why you have to look inside of things because the state sale dealers didn't even know they had this. They never looked inside. It's a modem. It's sealed. It's by Netgear. Uh, it's hard to find this particular one uh, still sealed and in good shape. So I listed it for $54.99. Might be a little bit high, but I have plenty of room to lower it because they gave it to me for just a few bucks. All right, so I did load up, filled up the entire box here, got all those DVDs that I showed you. You know, one of my pet peeves sometimes when going to some of these sales is the signage is not always accurate. So DVDs were supposed to be $3 a piece. So each of these were supposed to be $1.50. But then when you go to checkout, they say, oh, well, no, 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 not these because these have more than one DVD in it. So they would have cost $6. So now these are $3. Now, ultimately it didn't really matter because I know the estate sale dealer and we just made a bulk deal for everything. And he just said, here, just take it all for $50. And you know, that worked out to be a great price for, you know, for everything I wound up getting here. So I'm very happy overall. And uh, now let's move on to do some retail arbitrage. So I headed over to Walmart to check out the clearance section over there. Our clearance section is so small. I mean, look at that. It's just pathetic. I need to go to a bigger Walmart. But I was able to find this Captain Caveman plush. Who remembers him? He used to say his name, 
Captain Caveman. He had his own show. He was also part of the Scooby Doo uh, cartoon, and uh, you can see the price there four eleven. But on checkout, he was only a dollar sixty two, which was a good pickup because he sold for as high as seventeen dollars recently. So I was happy with that one. Crack me up. I did head over to Target to see if anything was uh, good in the clearance section, but as you can see, it was wiped out. They didn't even have a lot of toys there. Uh, this, uh, this toy up here is actually a repackage, so make sure you check the top. See, it says that, so uh, didn't pick any of that up. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, make sure you hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and also check out the items listed by none other than Michael J. Yes, as you can see here, Michael J is quite the mysterious fellow. Michael J is a member of this channel. Is it possible that Michael J is Michael Jordan or Michael J Fox? I mean, I don't know. Anything's possible, right? He's got 170 listings. They look pretty cool. I put a link to his profile in the description section and in the comment section. This is something I do for every member. Plus, I put a link to the person's store or their profile in my Facebook group, the Facebook Reselling Resource Center for 24 hours. It's put up to the top of the announcement section and it helps generate a lot of attention to the person's store uh, with 26,000 members in their group. It's bound to do that and often, it helps make the person sales. Sometimes one sale, two sales, three sales, four sales. It just depends, but it's a great thing as a perk for members so members can make money through the membership. So if you're interested, check it out. Click the join button, and I'll see you back in the next video, everyone. Take care.